let's study world known as the microbes or the microorganisms. These are the smallest of the small and the simplest of the simple. There are trillions of trillions of trillions of microbes around the earth. Maybe more. Some of them may not even be alive as we currently define life. Important fact is that they make up the largest number of living organisms on the planet. Microorganisms or microbes are microscopic organisms that exist as unicellular, multicellular, or cell clusters. Microorganisms are widespread in nature and are beneficial to life, but some can cause serious harm. The Dutch scientist Hans Mon van Leeuwenhoek observed microorganisms for the very first time in 1674, using a central microscope that he invented. Exploration of microorganisms was possible with further developments in microscopy. Definition of the microorganism the unicellular or multicellular organisms which are invisible to the naked eye when taken individually are called microorganisms. Microorganisms can be divided into five major types. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae, and viruses. Bacteria Bacteria are unicellular organisms, the cells are described as prokaryotic because they lack a nucleus they exist in four major shapes bacillus, caucus, spirula, and vibrio. They divide by binary fission, and they may possess flagella for motility. The difference in their cell wall structure is a major feature used in classifying these organisms. According to the way their cell wall structure stains, bacteria can be classified as either gram-positive or gram-negative when using the gram staining. Fungi. Fungi are eukaryotic cells. Most fungi are multicellular and their cell wall is composed of chitin. They obtain nutrients by absorbing organic material from their environment, through symbiotic relationships with plants, or harmful relationships with the host. characteristic filamentous tubes called hyphae that help absorb material, the collection of hyphae is called mycelium. Protozoa Protozoa are unicellular aerobic eukaryotes. They have a nucleus, complex organelles, and obtain nourishment by absorption or ingestion through specialized structures. They make up the largest group of organisms in the world in terms of numbers, biomass, and diversity. Their cell walls are made up of cellulose. Protozoa have been traditionally divided based on their mode of locomotion. Use structures such as cilia, pseudopodia and flagella for locomotion. Algae are unicellular or multicellular eukaryotes that obtain nourishment by photosynthesis. 
They live in water, damp soil, and rocks and produce oxygen and carbohydrates used by other organisms. <laughs> They are very important because they make much of Earth's oxygen, which humans and other animals need to breathe. Algae can be green, blue, red, or brown. They vary greatly in size. Some species are so small that they can only be seen through a microscope. On the other hand, the algae called kelp can reach 200 feet in length. Virus A virus is a tiny, infectious particle that lives inside of living organisms. Viruses are non-cellular entities that consist of a nucleic acid core surrounded by a protein coat. They are not considered living organisms. Viruses cannot reproduce outside a host cell and cannot metabolize on their own. Oh, my God.